Hi guys, um, it's time for another video and this one is going to be um, different from other videos basically because I'm not going to show you like basically um, there is no particular reason to watch the video apart from the first minutes because it will be basically be a like a kind of hearing uh, thing like listening to it while you play RuneScape or something um, the, the something before I start is that I have ordered some food and this uh, like in like 10 minutes uh, the bell will ring and I will have to pause that and come back uh, after so um, let's get started and you see me fishing at the moment um, d just don't watch me um, the thing that you you have probably already seen is that I'm wearing this new um, Tokhar cape Tokhar Kal cape which basically I got like um, 30 minutes ago currently it's February oh be right back alright guys I am back um, with my food and well, okay, as I said, I will continue where I left off, and at the moment it is the uh, 18th of February, and as you see, as I said, I have the new cape that you obtained from the fight kill, and I want to discuss things about it, so uh, if we take a quick look at the stats, it has plus 3 in all attack bonuses, uh, plus 12 in all defense, um, plus 2 prayer and plus 8 strength, so um, if we try to compare it to like the old fire cape, um, you probably, uh, most of you know that the fire cape has plus 1 in all attack, plus 11 in all defense, plus 2 prayer and plus 4 strength so it is definitely better than the fire cape and now not many people like question like who's, uh, which one is better it's it's like obvious that this that the new cape the cal cape is better um, the the most um, important thing is what cape is better uh, when you compare this cape to the max and the completion escape so um, I don't have the max or the completion escape yet I am going to get them like soon though and well I will quickly refer the stats of each of those capes so basically the max cape has a plus 5 in all attack and also I think it has um, plus 11 in all defensive I'm not sure about that um, also it has a plus 4 strength and plus 10 prayer um, so maybe we'll say like uh, the Cal cape is better than the max cape but I don't know I highly doubt it basically because the max cape has more attack bonuses than the Cal cape um, like plus two in all uh, attack bonuses. Um, although, uh, on the other hand, uh, the Cal Cape has plus one or plus two. I'm not sure about that in all defense, and has a plus four in strength. But yet again, uh, the Max Cape also has the huge plus ten prayer bonus, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, whereas the Cal Cape has only um, plus two. Um, so, I believe that in places where um, prayer is like highly recommended, then the max cape is still uh, the better option to use. And also in situations where accuracy is the number one priority, it's still better to use the max cape. Or uh, now, maybe in slayer tasks where you can spend like um, some more money like on prayer pots I believe that the cal cape will be better because 
uh, just using the rapier is already highly uh, accurate and if you can spend money on prayer pots then this is absolutely awesome also um, the, with the cal cape you will be hitting uh, more uh, more damage per per second just because you will be getting the plus four strength bonus just don't expect like the difference to be huge it's just like a plus four strength bonus uh, when you already have like 140 so this means that like, it's um, a three percent improvement which three percent is not so much i'm not gonna lie three uh, percent more damage it's is not much but if if it is out there to take it then i will definitely take it but don't expect this cape to be like the game breaker like um it will revol revolutionize the game or anything like that no it will not it will just be a better cape to use instead of your fire cape but i still believe like overall the max cape is better just because of the prayer bonus and some like its accuracy the plus two can be like important at things like corp where accuracy is the number one thing you have to go for um now um uh, if we try to compare it to the completion escape um i think here is the definite winner um it's the completion escape um just because of the fact that both capes have the same defensive uh, bonuses um but the uh, completion escape has uh, plus 10 in all attack which is huge I'm not gonna lie plus um, plus 7 um, like 7 more than the cal cape is uh, big I have to say um, it also has a 4.5 strength bonus which is not a big uh, improvement for the max cape and also it has, I believe, a plus 12 uh, prayer bonus. So, um, the prayer bonus, uh, well, basically, the completion escape is better in every aspect uh, from the max cape. And this is why, if the max cape is better than the color cape, then the completion escape will definitely be better than the color cape. Uh, also, uh, the completion escape has uh, more abilities if you take under consideration the fact that you can attach uh, spirit cape to it and it also uh, has the like the ability of the fire cape when you kill ice strike worms or the avas alerter when you use it for range and all those stuff you know and it also has teleports and it also has a pretty cool looking um trim like uh, that smoke uh, the, the smoke trail and the look of the condition escape or the max cape is absolutely awesome um, now many people are hating the cape uh, just because of the fact that it doesn't look uh, as epic as they would like um, because I believe that they wanted it to be like um, a flaming thingy like um, sparks or lava uh, running through it or something like that I'm not gonna lie, um, I expected the cape to be completely uh, different uh, um, comparing to what it is right now but I'm not, uh, but it is like, it's not like the fact that I don't like the cape okay, I would like the cape to be like a lot different like how I would imagine it uh, with fires and shit like that but this um, this cape seems uh, awesome. Um, I think that in the final boss, uh, I don't remember its name right now, uh, but uh, when the head comes out, it has a similar symbol as the cape um, on its head, and I think this is um, where it basically comes from. So I like this cape. I like this cape really much. Like it seems so. Um, I don't know, it makes you look like a beast, I'm not gonna lie. You, um, if you like get in, uh, imagine that, like you have the, the skin of a powerful monster on your back, then it, I don't know, it looks pretty awesome. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, about what I wanted to talk to you uh, guys today, and I hope that there is some 
insight about the new cape and if it's worth it to get it or not now um, if it's worth it um, you guys know that um, in my opinion yes especially if you do not have max or condition escapes this is absolutely um, like the best cape in the game at the moment the only thing that can that you can compare this cape to is the Arden cape uh, just because it has more stab bonuses and a bit more uh, prayer bonus and the sword wars cape but I don't know uh, the fact that this cape is like uh, so good it has to offensively defensively and uh, I don't know it I think that I will be using this cape from now on on Slayer instead of my Soul Wars Cape just because of the damage per second that will be like a bit more but there will be a difference um, if you uh, have a max cape but don't have the requirements for the completion cape then this cape will I believe that will, it will not be of um, that much um, like you will not be needing this cape so much, um, but oh come on, random event anyway. Um, but I don't know. Um, it's good to get it. Like it is a requirement for the completion cape, and also it's a really good cape in places that you want to have maximum strength bonus. But the max cape is equally as as fine. So I guess that. Uh, you can use um, the max or the uh, or this new cape um, in any place. Uh, so um, the only thing that kind of disappoints me is the fact that you cannot attach the cape to the far to the completion cape. Um, basically, um, I don't know. Since the completion escape is a cape where you basically have completed all um, the whole game, um, it should be getting the abilities of all the capes in the game. So uh, I believe it should have the plus eight strength bonus of the cal cape. It should be able to be attached on the completion escape. Um, I don't know if they are going to do it, but if many people complain on on like maxed forums, then I think. It will be attachable but I guess we will have to wait and see basically because maybe this will make uh, the competition escape a bit overpowered or I don't know but yet again it's like the competition escape you have completed the game so you deserve the overpowered things um, that's it about this video I guess or this audio or something I don't know um hopefully you as i said you get some insight on the new cape and um you will i believe that i will kind of make a guide uh on how to get a new cape uh don't be like um discouraged to because the jayek stated that it's like uh for people with less than 19 combat stats it will be uh, like impossible now that this is not the case if you know what you're doing then you can do it like pretty easily um, because I did it without any divine or next armor and it worked out pretty fine well I failed a couple of times but this was um, because of my mistakes but this will be on another video to discuss so uh, that's it for today guys. I hope I helped and expect um, a guide like not anytime soon because I have exams But when my exams are over, I believe I will be able to make a guide to help you out getting the escape um, So see ya